All right, so it's officially 2020, and I started metal detecting in 2019. So what, I, what I've done is taken all my 2019 finds, uh, put them together, organized them, cleaned off the coins, and I have all the relics, all the coins, all the clad, all the uh, silver, and the Wheaties all together. I'm going to show you guys, kind of brag a little bit what I got. This can be a, a good example of what a new beginner can expect to find um, metal detecting if you just go out there and, and try. So let's start with the pennies. I got um, a lot of pennies as you can see. So $4.98 uh, in pennies. That is um, you know, almost 500 targets right there. So that's a lot of picking up. Um, going to the quarters next, $88.25 in quarters. Pretty sweet. Um, nickels, in the beginning, I did not find any nickels. I wasn't even digging those, those targets. And I, I finally learned how to, how to do that with my Equinox 800. And I, I don't have as many as I think I could have got, but $3.50 in nickels. And then the dimes is another uh, $33.10. So that's pretty sweet. I did find one clad 50 cent piece as well. It's a total of $130.08, pretty impressive. That's 1,251 clad targets. That's a lot of, actually 252, I forgot to count the half dollar. That's a lot of um, picking up, you know, going down, bending over and picking up again. And don't forget when you're detecting, I don't have it here to show you, we're gonna do a separate video, but there is a lot of trash. Um, so if you're new to melody detecting, you can expect to find quite a bit of, uh, of money. I also have, um, other than the clad, I also found some uh, Wheaties. Uh, typically, I don't spend a lot of time at old places. I typically go to elementary schools and parks, things like that. Uh, but I have gone a couple places with Tim. He likes to look for the old stuff. Um, and I found 19 total Wheaties. And I have some interesting, kind of interesting um, relics here. A lot of, quite a few padlocks. They're, they're fun to find. Um, I got this old thing right here. This is looks. This came from a very, very old site, um, early 1800s, um, this area where I was mentally detecting. I'm not sure what it is. Tim, Tim said a stirrup, but you know, if it's a stirrup, you'd have to be like a two-year-old to fit, your, you know, fit inside there. It's pretty small. If you have any ideas what this might be, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you guys think this might, it, might be. Um, some cars. I, I'm missing some. I know I found more than two. Uh, this is kind of neat, some kind of old chain here. Uh, just in interesting things that you can pick up along the way. I also have a, uh, from another video you might remember this, is a social security card that I found. So apparently you used to be able to, um, kind of like a fad back in the 70s, I think, uh, people so they didn't lose their social security cards could buy one of these. Uh, quite a few keys. Got these really interesting, this, these are, are uh, really interesting pieces. They came from, they were very exciting to dig up. They came from a park or actually an elementary school, but they kind of look like Spanish reals. Uh, but you know, they're just for kids to play with. I also got these things here. They're marked Georgia Lottery. Not quite sure what they're used for. Found three of those. Uh, just some random junk here, some marbles. This penny is kind of cool. It has a, someone riveted it and uh, put it on like a piece of leather. It's attached to a piece of leather. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, you know what? That might be a button. Uh, I got another button here, and this button's pretty cool. It's an Isle of Man button. It's one of my better better finds. That actually came from um, potentially a really old spot, but I think this is from. These buttons are quite old, can be quite old, but I think this one's from you know 19 uh, early 1900s, probably 1930 or so, 40. A uh, little uh, latch right here. This right here, I do believe, is from a musket ball. Um, at least I believe that's what it is. Definitely a piece of lead, but I think it's a fragment of musket ball. Uh, some bells, some junk jewelry here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen junk rings. Junk rings, you know, I know are just junk, but I tell you what, they're they're quite fun to find. It's like finding a, you know, it's like finding a little prize when you're a kid at the gumball machine. They're they're really fun to dig up. Um, also got some tokens here. Uh, those are disappointing because you know you think they're a quarter because of the size of it. Of course, they don't ring up as a quarter, but uh, got some tokens, uh, some dog tags. Um, did find a silver half dollar. It's a pretty sweet find. That's one of the only things out of all this group that didn't come from the Equinox 800. Actually came home from Paris and Tim uh, picked me up from the airport. And on our way home from the airport, we decided to stop at a... Um, an old uh, elementary school 
in Atlanta, and I he had, had in his car a, a Garrett Ace uh, 400 that I used from 1986. A pretty old machine. I actually found that. I was very very excited. Um, I do have some silver. Uh, I didn't get any silver dimes. You will see one silver dime here, but I do not remember digging that up. I do some seeded hunts, and I think that might have came from my seeded hunts. I'm not sure, but uh, I do have some silver pieces here. Um, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four rings, a couple uh, pendants or medallions, uh, three of those, and this cross is also marked 925. I'm not sure what this is. Some type of foreign coin, I think. I also got a pence piece over here. It's from England. But as you can see, this is, you know, I think I did pretty well. This is my first year metal detecting. All the finds that I had, all the good finds at least. And you know, I think overall it's, it's pretty good. Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about my finds. Thank you very much.